Welcome to this lesson on trig application problems. When you are reading application problems, there are going to be a few keywords that are going to help you when you label your triangle. So I made a list for you here. And let's talk about what horizontal and vertical mean. So horizontal would be here. And I would always draw my triangle exactly like it looks in this picture. And then this would be vertical. And of course, this is your hypotenuse. And then you're also going to have some angle measures. So the bottom angle here is called the angle of elevation. And then outside the triangle, this angle here is called the angle of depression. Because it's from the top of the triangle looking down. All right, so angle of elevation is the first word. It's here. And then the angle of depression is at the top. But something that's important to know is that the angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation because these are actually alternate interior angles. So they will always be the same. All right, if you see the phrase away from, that's going to be the horizontal, the bottom of the triangle. Things like height or high or tall is vertical, so the left-hand side. If it says rises, that's vertical. If it says leaning, like a ladder is leaning against a building, that's the hypotenuse. If it says above the ground, like a cat is 10 feet above the ground, that would be vertical. Shadows are always horizontal on the ground. And then if you have things like kite strings or ladders or wires, a lot of times will be the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's try some examples. So when I draw my triangle for a application problem, I always draw it like this every single time. Now it may not match as far as like the lengths of the sides, but that's okay. So this is my right angle. So it says, at a certain time of day, Lindsay's shadow is nine feet long. So shadows. Shadows are always horizontal, so on the bottom. If the angle of elevation of the sun is 32 degrees, how tall is Lindsay? Okay, so the angle of elevation is always here. And if you look back at your picture, you see it right here. And then if we want to know how tall Lindsay is, tall is going to be the vertical. So basically, we have Lindsay here. We have her shadow on the ground. We're trying to find how tall she is. If you want to actually draw it out, you can totally do that. So once you have it drawn, then you just need to label your sides and solve it like a normal right triangle. So I have opposite and adjacent. So that would be tangent of 32 degrees equals x over 9. I'm going to multiply by 9 on both sides. So 9 times tangent of 32 and that gives me about 5.6. So 5.6 feet tall is my answer. Make sure you always put units. All right, so again, I always draw my triangle like this. It's going to work. Okay, so we have a 13 foot ladder and it's leaning against a house. So leaning is the hypotenuse. Think about this, this is my ladder here. This is my house. All right, if you want to draw all that, you totally can. So 13. The bottom of the ladder, so that would be here, is 5 feet from the base of the house. So that would be the bottom. What angle does the ladder make with the ground? So we're trying to find the angle here. All right, so I'm going to label my sides. So adjacent and hypotenuse. That would be cosine. Because we're trying to find an angle, remember we use the inverse cosine. Adjacent over hypotenuse. And that gives me about 67 degrees. Oops. All right, in the next example, I'm going to draw my right triangle. 
All right, Parker is flying a kite and the kite string is 30 yards long. So kite strings are the hypotenuse because kites don't fly straight up in the air like a balloon. Kites fly with the wind, so it's going to be slanted. So it's 30 yards long. If Parker is sitting on the ground and holding the string at an angle of 42 degrees, what is the height? So here's Parker down here. So the angle would be here, 42 degrees. And height is always vertical. You measure height straight up in the air, so that would be our x. So let's label our sides opposite and hypotenuse. So sine of 42 equals x over 30. So I'm going to multiply by 30 on both sides, and I get about 20.1. And we're talking about yards here. All right, last example. A fishing boat is 20 meters, 200 meters from a cliff. All right, so think about a cliff. So this would be my cliff here. And my boat would be out here. So 200 meters would go on the bottom. A hiker is sitting at the top of the cliff looking down at the boat. So a hiker is up here. If the cliff is 150 meters tall, that would be here. Tall is always vertical. What is the angle of elevation of the hiker down to the boat? Now be careful. Don't ever put the angle of, of depression here. The angle of depression is actually outside the triangle here. But we can't use an angle outside the triangle if we're going to be finding things within the triangle. So I do know that the angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation because they're alternate interior angles. So actually, this angle here is going to be the same. So I can solve for that, and it will give me the angle of depression. So let's label our sides, opposite and adjacent. So tangent... Inverse tangent, since I'm finding an angle, 150 over 200, and that gives me about 37 degrees. Okay, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete trig application problems practice and check it with your teacher.